There were a few um, kind of funny moments when t my teacher was showing all the pictures that, well, actually you guys took, uh, that started all this huge journey where I was out of the tub and without bandages and stuff. So that was kind of a bit, I guess I could say awkward, <laughs> just because it's my classmates. And in the broader scheme of things, I mean, you're not famous, you're very well known to many people wherever you go. What, what's that like for you? It's, every time it happens, it's like it's the first time all over again that I just remember the first time that someone ever, ever recognized us. It was, and is still a weird feeling. For me, I don't think about, as you say, well known. I just think about it as one more down. One more person now that knows about Evie. And, and when you look back on the year, I mean, what, <laughs> what do you consider sort of the, the biggest highlights from last year? Oh, goodness gracious. Everything, maybe? Um, well, first, there's the NHL Awards. That, I think, is the big moment. Uh, well, of course, everyone knows this one, the sentence. Um, when I was recruited for a scout for the day, this was a, it was just great. And that was awesome. And who is the coolest person you had this year? Well, Craig and Mark Kielberger were pretty cool guys. Yeah, for the we they did. Yeah, the TSN guys. Kirk Price and Alice Veshkin, we met them. They're really cool guys. Subban. I think the person who has played one of the biggest roles for me is probably Turris. He was the one who talked the most with me, probably. And gave me a stick sign. Um, and we took a picture together, and ever since we still keep in contact. So, Jonathan, your mom uh, went to you, went with you to all these events this year. Just tell us about uh, what your mom means to you. She's everything that I could hope for in a mother, and she's everything that I could have. I couldn't have imagined a better mother for someone with DB. I love her with all my heart because I know how much she works hard for us and for me and for the cause. You talked about uh, how she helps you manage the fear. Yes. Um, tell me about that. How, how does she do that? Well, just the fear that our journey is ending too soon for me because we would not have given everything to the cause. I never know if I'm going to wake up tomorrow. Just that fear of leaving things unfinished. I'm not saying that I'm going to be alive for each year. It may not happen in my lifetime. But just, I find that since we've really started getting everything going, we've contacted many different Debras and we've all kind of started the motion together. And a wave gets bigger and bigger. But I want to make sure that that wave is big enough that when I leave, that that big is big enough to keep going on its own.